Hello, hello, this is Gordon G., the Fox of Fox Inspection Group, providing peace of mind one home at a time since 1989. If you need any explanation uh, following this arc fault circuit interrupter class, feel free to give us a call. The number is 713-723-3330. Again, this block of instruction will try to explain arc fault circuit interrupters. Now what is an arc fault circuit interrupter, otherwise known as an AFCI? An AFCI is a specific type of electrical breaker, a device, that is very sensitive to electrical short conditions which may cause a fire. When this AFCI, the arc fault, senses a possible problem, the breaker trips, turns off power to the circuit, thereby in theory preventing an ignition source which may create a fire. There is a difference between an arc fault and a GFCI. AFCI, GFCI, there are two different things. AFCI, arc fault, helps prevent or reduce the chance of electrical fires in your home. While a GFCI, a ground fault circuit interrupter, helps prevent or reduces the chance of electrocution hazard to you and your family members. Generally, they're located in areas, wet areas, considered kitchens, bathrooms, garage outlets and exterior outlets where you could have the mix of electricity and water that could create a fatal condition uh, which would be a shock hazard to you or your family members. The GFCIs act like an arc fault but instead of preventing a fire will shut down the power to that circuit if it senses a ground fault. Now the reason for this block of instruction is why are these pesky home inspectors reporting that a house that does not have AFCIs in, a, in the property, they report it on their home inspection report as deficient. So again, the question is why do home inspectors report the lack of AFCIs in a property as deficient? Quite simply, the Texas Real Estate Commission, otherwise known as TREC, the state agency that issues home inspectors their license, requires them to list the lack of AFCIs in a residence as a deficiency in the home inspection report. TREC, the person, correction, the entity that licenses home inspectors requires them to do so. Well, what about an old house? You know, a 50 year old house. Even a home built before the existence of AFCIs are required to be reported as deficient by home inspectors licensed by TREC. Basically it boils down to Mr. Inspector, if you want your inspection license tomorrow, you will call off the lack of or missing arc fault circuit interrupters in a home as deficient today on your inspection report. Plain and simple. They tie our hands. They say these are all uh, missing. They are considered you will mark the deficient column in your inspection report. Now, are sellers required to install missing arc faults to sell their home or are buyers required to have arc faults installed on their home that they're buying? Simple answer, no. Absolutely not. Good analogy would be if you were to buy an older car from someone, is the seller required to install anti-lock brakes, side air impact bags, and XM radio before you buy the, uh, the car? No. If you want, need, or desire features associated with a new car or like a new home, like brand new electrical system with all the nice whistles and bells that go along with a house that is wired today, then go out and buy a new house at a new house price. In each TREC required home inspection report, TREC, Texas Real Estate Commission, promulgates a form. Promulgation of means you will use this specific form and fill this form out when you're doing a home inspection for a potential resale, potential buyer. This wording exact taken out of one of the reports is items identified in the report do not obligate any party to make repairs or take other action, nor is the purchaser required to request that the seller take any action. Basic Bulls Town, it's a negotiated item. It is in fact impossible I believe, electrically impossible, to wire a house, an older house with arc fault circuit interrupters. The electrical wiring that is in place in the walls of the house prevent the proper operation of an arc fault circuit interrupter. Plus it requires removal of the electrical service panel, usually rewiring these breakers a little bit larger. 
and to install these, it is a no-brainer. It, it just cannot. You can try to. You can attempt to do it uh, if money is not an object. Uh, but generally, to retrofit an older house with arc fault circuit interrupters is not cost effective. I hope this block of instruction has helped identify and clarify arc fault circuit interrupters, why those pesky home inspectors call this off as a deficient item because they're required to call this off by track. They are not required to be repaired by seller or buyer. If you have any other questions, give us a call. 713-723-3333. Again, this is Gordon G., the Fox of Fox Inspection Group, providing peace of mind, one home at a time, since 1989. Thank you very much.